Hello, my name is Antonella Bergione and uh, today is the day four of my video challenge. So today we're going to talk a bit more of the language of the feminine and uh, specifically according to the moon. Um, especially for women, we've been designed to be uh, in connection with the moon, we are moon being, uh, as opposed to be sun being like our friend the men are. So today I'm gonna ask you a question. What if in this world we would know the language of the moon and we could use it in our own advantage to live our everyday life? Because we want or we don't want, we are influenced by the moon. There's nothing we can do. And uh, and moon act, uh, acts on us as if it was a magnet, if it were a magnet. And uh, what happens is that, uh, um, let's say we start with the new moon. New moon is time of new beginning. I've drawn this mandala so that we can follow it together. So we have a new moon where everything is in the dark. We've just planted the seed. It would be the place where uh, it's just the end of winter and the beginning of spring. We plant the seed and the seed starts to grow every day for a week until we reach the quarter moon. This is a period where we start to feel like we've got new ideas, inspiration, um, our inspiration that we had before we can start to work on it. This is the period where it's the seed that start to break the ground and become have those two leaves and the two leaves start to become bigger and bigger and the plant starts to grow. And we, are, we need to water it, of course. Once we reach the uh, waxing quarter moon, between quarter moon and full moon, this is the time where we really are full of energy and uh, we think and we believe we can change the world. And this is the time where we reach our peak at the full moon, where we are fertile and where we are on top of the world. And how many of you have been in this situation? If you are aligned to the cycle of the moon, this is what happens. So a full moon is really where we reach, as women, we reach the peak of our energy, our mood, our everything. Then once we pass this threshold and we are in waning moon, what happens is that uh, uh, it's like we start to take stock a bit at a time of whatever it has happened in the month and we start to discern and select what we need from what is not important and is not useful anymore. To reach this point of enchantress where we really decide to we become our own enchantress and uh, this is where we decide to make our choice. And this is the time where our emotions are actually on the rise and the depth of our emotion and the possibility to fall deep into depression, feeling edgy. Um, it, it's when it happens the most. And this is where also we prepare our body to release through our period and our menstruation to bleed away whatever is not needed anymore. So actually, society is teaching us to completely ignore this period. It's like your period time, you have to do everything like you have to, you have been doing all the rest of the month, it's like it's not happening. But actually doing that, it's again another time that we are abiding to the language of men and uh, or think that the, it's whatever we're going through, it's something that we don't need to address. 
But actually, having a period is the time where we stop and Again, I say I, I said it again. Is is the period where we let go of all those experiences that we don't need anymore. But at the same time, doing that is also the period where we allow more space and we allow space so that we can receive inspiration for the new cycle, for the new part of our um, uh, moon. So, if you think even that calendar the old calendar at 13 moon because it was again designed according to the moon um, if you think of uh, the power of the moon on all of us so for example if we don't take this time to take care of our emotions to share with other women to be ourselves in a safe place and in a possibly also in a sacred place this is the time where we don't take care of ourselves, this is the time where all the addictions will blossom. So we will reach food, we will reach chocolate, we will reach biscuits, we will reach drinks, we will reach smoking, chain smoking. It's all the time where this, we don't know how to deal with it because it's too much. So by creating circles of women where you feel safe in, this is the time of the best sharing ever. This is the time where the elders can be of guidance to the youngest. This is the time where the maiden can learn about their future life. This is the time where the mother can understand that when the kids make them mad is actually something that is not probably the kid, but it's just the mother doesn't have the time to take care of herself and how to do that. So this is a time of taking stock, sharing, it's really, 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 really super important to acknowledge this last week of the of your moon. And another amazing thing, for example, is that if we are entirely aligned to the moon, absolutely aligned to the moon, during full moon is the period where we ovulate, we've been just ovulating and we're fertile. If we're not fertile in this period, it means that actually we're not ready to have a child, or we don't want a child at the moment. And uh, this is something I've discovered uh, recently. And it's totally fascinating the way it works. 